Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I am using um, the new silicone rubber from Let's Resin. It's platinum. Um, it's a one to one ratio. It says that it's great for 3D printed molds. So I am going to do a freshie mold today. And I 3D printed this cute little pumpkin. It comes with cups, little stir sticks, a cute little trimmer, and it comes with these cute little housings in all different shapes. And I'm going to be using the larger one. I'm also going to be using a piece of transfer tape, tape and a hot glue gun. Everything that I use in this tutorial will be in the description box. There will be links for everything. I am an Amazon affiliate, affiliate so if you use my links, I do get a small percentage and I at no cost to you, and I greatly appreciate that. Um, I did prepare my Freshie mold with Man 200 Ease Release. Um, this is amazing when you're doing Freshie molds. Uh, they tend to get stuck. There are some where I make a tab. And I forgot to make one on this one. Let me show you an example. This would be a tab where the silicone cone would go in and I would just be able to pull it out. But anyways, this stuff is the bomb. If you, if you make um, freshy molds, you need this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is weigh out some silicone. This silicone is a one by one ratio by weight. Well, let's get this little guy set up actually. I'm just gonna pull the transfer tape off. And I'm gonna put some hot glue. Around the bottom. And just make sure that he sticks. And then I'm going to put the housing around it. Push it down. And then I'm going to hot glue around the edge. Just a nice thick layer. so that the silicone does not leak out. Oops. Trying to slide this down. The hot glue cools pretty fast. Then I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute. I'll actually mix up the silicone while that is drying. So I'm just gonna pull that out the way. All right, so I'm gonna have my scale here. And this one takes an awfully lot of silicone, but just for now, I'm gonna start with eight ounces. And put some gloves on. This is a very thick um, silicone. I've actually used it before. I like it a lot. It says in the um, directions that you want to be in a cool area when you're using it. You don't want to be want it to be really hot in your in your art space or your workspace. And if it is, that you can actually put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and that the bubbles will degas better. In, in the cool air. It's actually 76 degrees in my art studio and I had no problem with bubbles. So it worked fine for me. It actually worked very well. 
You're supposed to mix it for three to five minutes. Um, the more you pour, the longer. So if it's just a little bit, three minutes, obviously if it's a lot, five minutes. Um, and that's it. Oh, okay, three mold, demold in three to six hours, depending on how much you use, how thick it is. And you should wait to use it for 24 hours and the working time is 30 minutes. And that is all the info. All right, so let's mix up some um, rubber here, silicone. I always like to start with A. I don't, I don't think there's a special way to do it, but the, the reason why I do that is because sometimes if I'm going really fast, I am, I am, my mind is crazy. So I will forget which one I used if I like set it down next to the other one. So I always start with A so that I know that I need B. So I said I'm going to mix eight ounces, right? I think that's what I said. So we're gonna start with A and we're gonna weigh four ounces. And we're at three and a half, so I'm just slowing down. And it's like 4.83. Went a little over. And now I'm doing B. It's 4.085, so I'm gonna do 8.085. Okay. And like I said, I'm starting with eight ounces. I might need more. And then I'm just gonna stir this for five minutes. You wanna make sure that you scrape the sides a lot. When it gets closer to the five minutes, you're gonna realize that it's kind of getting easier to stir. Okay, so I mixed for five minutes. I didn't wanna do it on camera and bore you guys, but um, I don't think I'm gonna use this whole thing on here. And I would like to use orange. This is Tequila Sunrise from Island Micas and More for the pumpkin. And for the ladybug, I am going to use Shirley Temple. And that is also from Island Micas and More. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit. I actually went around over once over with the glue gun to make sure there's no holes as well. Um, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit for now. Right there. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of mica in there. Move this over. I just want a light tone, nothing crazy. So I just did one scoop. These have cute little scoops, perfect for measuring. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix that up really good. And when you put the mica in, you wanna make sure you scrape the sides down so you don't get little clumps. And it's still very translucent, just a pretty little orange tint. A little bit of shimmer. You can even put glitter, a little bit of glitter. What the heck, let's do a little bit of glitter. This is fall day. Um, from Island Micas and More, and, and it is an orange holographic, and I am just doing like the tiniest bit. That is it. Don't want to do overkill. And you just get a little bit of sparkle. And 
then I'm just gonna pour it in. It's a little bit of hot glue. Make sure. Just pouring really slow from the side. That is super pretty with the orange and the glitter. This is definitely the perfect little kit. Um, it has everything you need. Perfect for beginners. Easy to work with. I'm gonna make myself a little more. 30 minutes working time we have. Just gonna stir it up. I'm definitely gonna have to mix up more for the red ladybug, which is fine. And as you can see, my glue from my hot glue gun is keeping everything in there. Tiny, tiny bit of fall day. Oops, that was a lot. Well, this layer is gonna be super sparkly. It'll mostly just sink down around. And we want to make sure that pumpkin is covered all the way up to the top. So I'm going to give myself just a bit more that stem is sticking out. gonna put any more glitter because the last it still has a bit in it in the cup all right that is all the way up to the top all right we're just gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna pull my, pull this out the way a little bit. Pull my ladybug out. <sighs> she has glitter in there, but this is for me, so I'm not really worried about it. I mean, they're technically both for me. I'm not selling them, so. A little bit of Shirley Temple. This is my most favorite red from Island Micah's. It's very a very true red, no shades of pink to it. And I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm gonna mix up about another four ounces for this ladybug. I think that, that should do it. And then we're gonna wait about six hours to demold this or maybe even till tomorrow because I think it's already 6 p.m. So yeah, six, six, um, I am not gonna be up at midnight. So we'll have to wait till the morning. And then we're gonna, Use some resin and make something with that pumpkin. So let me mix up four more ounces and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have four more ounces mixed up. The bubbles are almost gone in this already. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my Shirley Temple. It's 
and I'm going to be extra and I'm going to use Red Tide from Island Micas and More, which is a tiny bit of holographic red. I sell my molds, um, I'm sorry, I sell my freshies and handmade soap, all natural soap that I make um, at Sunset here in Key West and Mallory Square. Um, so this freshy mold is for me. Uh, ladybugs represent my granddaughter. Um, that's what we had for her baby shower. It has a lot of meaning in her family and they are lucky. Super pretty, hold on, I'm <laughs> not even in the camera. There you go, all right. So with this resin, I mean, sorry, with I'm so used to working with resin. With the silicone, it's so thick. You want to pour a little bit and stop. You don't want to overflow it because it, it's so thick. You will think that you poured enough and then it will overflow over the top. I'm feeling like I might need a little bit more, maybe two more ounces, but I don't know. We'll see. This is looking good. Because I don't have a lip on this, I like to get it completely to the edge so I have something to grab onto. This is going to be perfect. Then you kind of got to get an air pocket under there and it pops right out. But that man release man 200 release spray. I call it man's. It has two n's and m a n n and I just like to say man's. Man's Release Spray, Man 200, whatever. That stuff really helps a lot. And you don't have to clean it between. All right. So it's full to the rim. The pumpkin is covered. I'm going to come back in like maybe 20 minutes just to check on it. And I will film that. And then in the morning, we are going to take these out. I will make a freshie um, with the ladybug so that you can see it. And we're going to do some resin in this pumpkin to see how the mold turns out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. So it's morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a tiny little leakage. Nothing crazy. See if we can get this out of here. So I'm just gonna give it a good push. Then I want to carefully pull my pumpkin out. <clears throat> There we go, and then we have a pumpkin mold. So we'll dust this with some chameleon flakes and throw some resin in there. Let me see if I can get this out. Okay, I'm just gonna work with the slow, grab at the sides, since I do not have my lip. And I just kinda wanna get an air pocket. Kind of made my own little lip right there on the top, which I can trim off with a little trimmer or it pulls right off. Now it's going to start sliding right out. I just want to pull slow, do not want to rip it. I have my freshie mold. And you can use a little trimmer to trim up the edges. I won't do that all on camera. But you just pull on it and just do a little trim and it comes right off. It's kind of like little cuticle nail trimmers. So all in all, the silicone is pretty awesome. 
see the glitter? All right, let me mix up a little bit of resin and we will make a pumpkin. Oh, and I just wanted to show you that this comes right off. That is my hot glue. Okay, this is called Hello Fall um, from Island Mica Den Moore. It's a chameleon flake and it shifts from orange to yellow to green, really pretty color. Um, before I brush this in, I wanted to show you, I mixed up a little bit of um, the silicone yesterday and I made a skin with it. This is just a piece of um, faux leather that I used to make, <coughs> excuse me, bookmarks and stuff. And I just spread a thin layer on it and you just pull it right off. So you could use any kind of texture that you want. A little thick there at the end. Comes right off. And it's kind of hard to see because of the glitter, but it is the texture, the texture that it is. You see that? And then you can use that when making me resin proje projects as an inlay. Pretty neat. That's the other side. Maybe I'll use that in a different video. All right, so this is fall day. Look at that, beautiful. We're gonna get a big old brush and just start brushing that in. It kind of sticks to the brush. It, brush it's real staticky, you can kind of pick it up. little bit messy don't sneeze or it will be everywhere that is definitely enough you'll see it more when I get it out we're gonna use a dark color behind it but it's super shifty and if you want to get it off the top the mold an easy way to clean your molds is to just get a little bit of tape and it'll come right off just making sure that's brushed well in okay and today I'm going to be using EP Resin Art, one-to-one -one mixing ratio. The link is also in the description. So I'm gonna mix up just a little bit of resin and I will be right back. Okay, so my EP Art Resin is all mixed up. I mixed it for about three minutes. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Seahorse from Island Micahs and More. Nice deep purple color. Reminds me of fall and Halloween. <laughs> I'm just gonna stir that up really well. And I'll, I think it'll really complement that orange. Pour it in. And that was about two ounces and it was perfect. And I'm just gonna spritz the top with alcohol to get rid of any bubbles. And then we will come back to demold this as soon as it cures. All right, so my pumpkin is ready to demold. I did make a freshie. Um, I did not get to paint it yet, 
I did have a little bit of a design flaw. Um, these are too thin. So I'm just going to take out this middle part. I'll just cut it with a sharp X-Acto knife. Um, it just needs a real thick for the antennas. I, I don't actually need that middle part right there. So I can just cut it out and it'll be fine. But it came out pretty cute. I still have to paint it. I used oil. I use oil-based Sharpies to color them and paint them. I actually have a YouTube tutorial from start to finish on making freshies. This scent is Autumn Delight. It's delicious. All right. Let's take this little pumpkin guy out. He's super pretty. It is 3D printed, so it picked up all... Um... It picked up everything, but it's still beautiful. I'm going to take that outside and get a better shot of it, but it's super cute. And I really like um, the platinum silicone. It's super easy to work with. Like I said, if you're a beginner, everything comes in a in the kit and I highly suggest it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, hit that like button if you liked the video and if you want to see more of my videos please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys. See you later.